We are now in the process of supplying temporary shelter, winterized shelter, uh, especially in the form of prefabricated housing units. And uh, hundreds of these units were already deployed in several parts of Ukraine, especially those that have high numbers of internally displaced people. And the other priority, the other priority is uh, energy, energy-related assistance, like generators, repair kits for electricity grids, transformers, substations, and all these you know, very technical items that Ukraine needs in order to repair the damage that the Russian attacks have uh, done to the critical civilian infrastructure. And you see, the immediate consequence of this Russian uh, criminal behavior is that it will aggravate the humanitarian crisis in large parts of Ukraine, and it will make life of uh, Ukrainian civilians much, much uh, harder. Uh, that's, that's the immediate consequence of the Russian uh, methods of this kind of warfare, which is not really warfare because attacking civilian targets is not a warfare, it's a, a rather uh, something else. Uh, this has immediate negative effect in the aggravation of humanitarian situation in Ukraine, which is already bad.